Morning. Morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Did you have all have a nice lovely weekend? Nice long weekend. We've all had a nice long weekend. Yeah, nice bank holiday weekend. We had some nice days and then and some, it's randomly snowed. Snow days. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't get more British if you tried, could no, you? No, you get more British. Not. Very British. Right? Hope you all had a lovely Easter. Um, hope you, your children had lots of... Lots of fun, lots of chocolate. Oh, I'm, I'm sick of chocolate. I know, I'm almost at the point where I've had enough chocolate now. Just everybody just eats it continuously throughout the day. It was one moment, it's, it's terrible when you wake up in the morning, you think, what should I have for breakfast? Oh, should I have an Easter egg? Yeah, I can, I can have an Easter egg. Are you allowed? It's Easter. It's, it's okay. Easter. It's the okay. one time you're allowed, isn't it? This morning, we've got um, four car seats for you, different stages so suitable for different ages, um, and they're all a little bit clever. Yeah, they are. A little bit different. They've yeah, all got a little nice bit little feature. to your normal. Um, they've got some really great features on there. Very safe car seats um, from some big brands. We've got Axe Kid, we've got Britax, Roma, we've got Maxi Cozy, and we've got Cybex. So some um, of the high-end, brilliant car seats yeah. um, that we um, stock. Yeah. We've got lots of people joining us this morning. Um, Laura Marsh um, is our fastest finger. She said, I hope you all had a lovely Easter. Thank you, Laura. Um, thank you, I did. Um, Pauline, we've got Claudia, Danielle, Joe, Gemma, Becky. Lots of people this morning saying good morning. Thank you all for joining us this morning. Cass says, looking forward to today's live. We need a new car seat. Okay. Well, here we go. So hopefully we've here. got one that will cover you here. Definitely. Um, I didn't actually say in my post about uh, Facebook Live, but there is a prize, as normal. Um, and they're hiding down there. Can, Can you anyone spot, spot the prize? Ooh. Hiding down by my feet. So you've got a choice today. So depending on what age your baby is, or if the baby's not even here yet, you've got a few, a few um, different options to choose options. from. So maybe um, you've just found out you're pregnant and you've got you've something you want to put your scan in. Um, or maybe friend or family. So it's not just for yourself, you can give it to friends and family yeah, as well. Yeah, it would make a nice gift, wouldn't it? Yeah, really, You could really just nice. leave it all wrapped up like that, be like, yeah, this is my face, this is my scan photo. <laughs> <laughs> this is my baby. <laughs> um, and then you've got a mums and papas um, hanging rainbow, which is really, really cute. If I hang... And we have had this in the I think before. it's a song that a lot of parents yeah. sing to their babies, isn't it? Or it's children. very, very sweet. Yeah. Um, but very, if you think just you can hang this on your carry cots, car seats, um, maybe bedside cribs, obviously cots, things like that, yeah. cots, it will be really, really nice. So it's just a really sweet, um, nice universal little gift. Um, or you can have the Mamas and Papas Spiral Activity Toy. Um, again, we'll kind of go over the car seat, but again, we'll go over most things as well. Bumper bars, it'd be a good one on, on push chairs, wouldn't it? Yeah, bumper cars. bars, just keep them kind of a little bit busy. You can use it from birth, but it's more, I suppose, when they're a bit more interactive, a little yeah. bit older, isn't it? But it's more, yeah, it's got nice little it. bits on there, and you can say it's just a spiral, so it can attach onto most things. Um, so all you need to do, like always, is just comment, Join with the chit chat and then obviously we'll draw the winner at the end and the winner will get to choose um, which one out of all these three. So, let's see who's saying good morning. Gemma said, did you all have a good Easter? We did. Did yes, everyone else in the you. comments did? Let us did know. You? We unpacked because all because I've got three kids and they'd all got various from di various different yeah. people had dropped presents off and we've got bags and bags and bags of different chocolates. Yeah. So last night we went through and just took all the boxes out and just filled up Tubs yeah. of chocolate. I'm like, maybe we that, never don't need to buy chocolate for a long time. No, but there was that thing, wasn't there? It was a couple of years ago. There was the um, the video of the parents tricking the kids that they've eaten all their Easter, oh, Easter yeah. chocolate. It was a bit cruel, wasn't that it? That was a bit mean. Can you imagine? Did anyone My kids would be like, there's no way you could have eaten all that last night, no. even you, Mum. No, you would have been sick mm. this morning. Yeah. Um, Amber says that looks perfect for development. Um, I'm guessing that means one of the, one of the little toys down yeah, there. Yeah, spiral, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Um, Claire said, just found out I'm pregnant, so glad you're doing car seats oh, as we need one now. Congratulations. Um, I say, fingers crossed there's one here that we can cover and give you a bit more information on. Right, should we make a start? Yeah. Shall we go up in ages? Yeah. So I'll start here, drop the iPad. Yeah. I'll start here. So here, um, I say we've got an infant carrier. And it's, again, it's an infant carrier with a difference. Mm. Um, so it's the Maxi Cozy um, Coral car seat, eye size car seat, um, and we have got it on the base, um, but you can seat belt this car seat yeah. as well, which is nice. 
Price-wise, um, RRP of the seat is £239, um, but we've got an offer at the moment for £182.83. Yes, so really, really nice. And um, this will go up to um, your 12 kilograms and goes from 40 up to 75 centimetres. And yeah. I say it's a nice cover kind of infant carrier. It's not just your standard infant carrier. Nope. Um, if I take it off your base, and I can show you a bit easier. So this fits the Family Fix um, 3 base. Yes, so you've got your independent hood, which is really, really nice on here. You will tuck it all the way back um, when you've got it on the pushchair frame, for example. You can have it all the way back um, so you've got full access to the car seat. Now, the reason why this is so clever, if I'm just going to come to the you're front. You're climbing through. Climbing through. Um, you have obviously got all your newborn inlay um, in here that you would remove like normal, just loosening your straps. And I so say this will can all come out like so 60 centimeters which is your average three to four month old you yeah. take that all out so. so you just slot that all out <clears throat> just re-threading the harnesses out that will come out in one piece say when this one reaches 60 centimeters but the clever thing with this um really great obviously because car seats are known to be quite heavy when child is obviously um in there but also if you live in a flat this would be great for you yep or if you've got more than one baby more than one baby what you can essentially do is this car seat gets separates in two different parts. So you have your shell and then you've got your inlay. So the weight for the shell and the inlay is 5.35 kilos. So like yeah. five kilos is quite average for an yeah. infant car, isn't it? Standard so it's, infant car. Yeah, so it's really light, but I say once you can take the insert out, it's even lighter. So I'm just gonna pop my handle back. And what you've got here is a green button. That means the inlay is locked and unlocked. So if it's red, it'd be unlocked. Green, it's locked. Pushing that in. And then what you want to do is scoop your hands underneath and your actual inlay will come out. Now that is really, really clever in itself. Obviously, if you've got baby in there and um, you wouldn't actually just kind of have your arm over. This is stretchy material. So it's not as if you kind of arms protruding into this one space and um, it will extend out. But also you have, you see here, the legs built in so it kind of will sit on the floor so say for example you've just got ready in the flat and because obviously that car seat shell will take up a lot of room maybe in a flat for example yeah you can bring this in pop baby in and then when you're going down say um steps for example or um just going down to the car you can then obviously just pop this straight yeah into, that could still be on the base yeah. or just in your car couldn't it pop it straight just... into there um and obviously the insert itself weighs 1.7 kilos so it's it's making it a lot lighter yeah really really nice and i say it's, it's a car seat with a difference and um, you can take away the, obviously the protective shell that it needs you can't obviously use this just on its own in the car you have to have it clicked into the shell either with the ice fix base or obviously seat belted um, but it's convenient. You can leave the outer shell in the car um, and just bring out the lighter insert, um, which is really, really clever. It's nice design. Obviously, you can use this on pushchair frames. If you have got a specific pushchair you want to check it, if it will fit on, you can always send us a message and we can look at that for you. So I'll pop my insert back in. Okay, so she's got six weeks to go and still no car seat. What's it between? Are you narrowed it down? Can yeah, I've narrowed it down. If, can we help at all in yeah. the live? Let us know. If, if there's two maybe that you're looking at or... Have you got a certain criteria? We can always suggest some lovely ones as yep. well. Laura loves the look of that car seat. <clears throat> it's really clever, very right clever. In. Looks very futuristic, it does. And they've got new car seats coming out too that have that same futuristic look, don't they? Yeah. It's a secret, Shh, secret. Shh, coming soon. Didn't tell you anything, okay? <laughs> coming very soon. <laughs> yeah. Um, but it works like any other car seat. So when you want to tighten your straps, um, you want to pull on the grey strap, you want your harness to be level or an inch below little one's shoulders and a two finger gap. So you just don't want to be able to spin your fingers around um, nice and tight on little one's chest there. Gemma says she loves a lightweight car seat. Some are so bulky and heavy with baby in. Yeah, that's the thing. Once you put the weight of baby in there. Yeah, the car seat itself could be quite light, but obviously yeah. then if you've got the weight of baby. Um, They're liking this idea. So it's and very clever. As well, it's a much bigger car seat. If you look at that as a shell, as a car seat, it's much bigger. Yeah. You take the insert out. It's a lot less room. Yeah, Charlotte said she'd leave the shell in the car. So yeah, great yeah, idea. You could leave that in the car and then just take baby in in that yeah. bit. Great for grandparents You can, you as can well. cradle it as well, can't you? If you hold yeah. it in a lot of their imagery, they're kind of yeah, cradle it's it. ladies that are in a wheelchair that have like maybe had a C-section or just mm. walking out can cradle it. Um, it's about keeping baby close yeah. to you. Yeah, so it, for a lot of reasons, it'd be really great for certain yeah. people, which is good. Joanne, it's called the Maxi Cozy Coral, this one. Yeah. 
Uh, Emma's got the oyster capsule. Her little girl is six months. It's now starting to get heavy to carry with her in. Yeah, with mine, I didn't take it out of the car very much because it wasn't long before they got to a, an age where it was just yeah, too get heavy. Yeah, heavy and it's just... Yeah. Children just get heavy very quick, don't they? Oh, Kira's it's her due date today. So oh, she's having a cuppa and watching our show this morning. Labor, then. During the live. Push strokes that baby. Let us know. I've had... The, it happened with Zara. Zara gave birth during the live. During the live. Not yeah. like watching, watching I it. Watching it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she did a live video either. I don't think. Oh, everybody's saying good luck to Kira. Yes. Aww. Hopefully, a little one doesn't keep you waiting too long. No. It, do you know? If, is it? Did she say if it's girl or boy? Did she say? No. She just said my due date today. Let us know. Are you having a girl or boy? Do you not know? Because then I could predict for you. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna send your vibes. I'm gonna send my vibes through the screen. It will be a boy. <laughs> I don't know. Let us know. Let us know. But it's a really, really nice one to look at. Um, great one. Quality wise, is always really nice for Maxi Cozy as well. Yeah. Really uh, luxurious That's material. That's what they do. They make safe car seats. Yeah. Don't they? so. They're known for their car seats. Really good car seat safety. So it's eye size regulation. So it's the newest safety testing um, as well. Um, Philip, Donna, they are loving their ultralight, um, their Venici car seat. That's been fantastic. Yeah, that is a really light car seat. It's yeah. about three, no, 2.5 kilo, I think. Yeah. So. Uh, because of the material it's made from yeah it's not much more than just that insert on its own yeah so. it's a really nice one to look it's at. another one um for lightweight yep. car seats we have done a car seat on uh, a live on lightweight car seats as well so if that's something that a feature that you're after that might be a good one to take a look at yeah right shall we have a look at the big boy in the mid uh, in the middle yeah big, so big boy in the middle big boy in the middle <laughs> he's a big boy so this is um, the Axe Kid One. We've recently got it into store. We did do um, a review on it recently, um, and a video. Very, very clever car seats. Very different to anything else on the market. I'm just going to turn to the side a little bit. So it's She's a little having bit it's a surprise. Oh, is it? Oh, so I do you, love a surprise. What are you vibing, Kelly? I'm going to say it's manifest as babies. I think boy. boy. Oh, boy. You, you did say boy, actually, didn't you? Yeah. Sorry, I'm uh, just wrestling with the boy. Oh, it is then. I'm telling you now, it's a boy. Let us know if it's a girl or a boy. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know which, whichever way. So, um, this is your Axe Kid One. They also do the One Plus, which goes from birth, but this one goes from um, 61 centimetres. So, about three to four months old, This you can use this one yep. from. But the One Plus comes with an extra newborn insert to allow you to use it from birth. Now, the only real negative about this car seat is the price, but obviously there's a lot of technology and development that's gone into yeah, it. Yeah, the testing. Um, the testing, um, and it's £600 for the, the Axe Kid 1, and then for the One Plus, it's £700. But it will last you from um, birth or from three, four months old, once you don't want to be maybe using an infant car seat anymore, and it will take them right up to um, a maximum of 23 kilos, or 125 centimetres, um, which is around seven years old. So lots of longevity mm. in this car seat. Then all they need after that um, is a high back booster for them. We've got one of those over there um, yeah. for them to go into um, up to 12 or 135 centimetres, whichever they reach first. So this is um, the safest car seat that Axe could do um, because it's had so much technology put into it and all the testing. Yeah. It's the only rear facing Isofix car seat that's plus tested. So it's the Swedish plus test, which is one of the most um, stringent tests that a car yeah. seat can put through. Only rear facing car seats can pass it. And that obviously will go up to the age that it covers as well. We're having the higher height and weight um, limit on it. Yeah. It's one that's great because a lot of people. Obviously, a lot of people say they want to keep their child rear facing as long as possible, but they're always yep. concerned for their leg room. Yes, and this, this will cover it. This covers it. Definitely. Um, it's got the largest leg room that you can actually offer a child. What I might do first is just install it quickly first. Um, when, we did the test, when we did the review, Axe Kid actually gave us a bit of a test and said you can fit it in 30 seconds. So that's a great thing. I can put for a stopwatch on you, Kelly, if you want. Yeah, look, we don't have to do that because I've got to explain things, okay? I'll not just be doing it. I have to, I have to tell I them. I bet Kelly can do it in 20 seconds. That Kelly's that good. He'll beat, he'll beat it. <laughs> Get his so, world record. <laughs> um, it's really intuitive um, installation because yeah. you've got yellow stickers everywhere, which are numbered to guide you through what you're doing first. So I'll just install it all as you would have it. Really clever that you've obviously got that. Um, of the, the ease to fit it because you see it, there's a few steps yeah like all yeah but. so six steps but 
like say 30 seconds to fit it once you know how to do it but yeah. you've always got that reminder say grandparents does have what do i one. do next yeah it's you know which one so you've got number one first so the first job is to lower the leg yeah your second job find number two is to pull this so we pull this and pull the rebound bar in number three which it'll then allow is for you to push the isofix arms to connect it's a bit hard because this rig just moved then I'll just connect this side. <laughs> the rig is moving. So we'll just ask it. Amber's it. just asking, what there is the min minimum so safety requirement green. car seats must reach and how much beyond the average is that axe kid? So obviously you've got different car seat regulations. That's to do with the testing. So you've got your R44, which is your older regulation. Then you've got your eye size, which is, has the extra testing of your frontal, so you have your frontal, side. rear, side and rollover crash testing. Yep. Um, and then, it, so... It's not a requirement to have, obviously, the Swedish Plus testing. No. They, they choose to put their car seats through it. They choose to put through it. So basically what it means is they'll put their, their car seats through, that go higher speed, yeah. higher brakes. Brake. And lower braking distance. Yeah, lower braking distance. So a much more of a stronger impact on yeah. that car seat than so you would have So I suppose more, more realistic, I suppose, isn't it, for yeah. a, high, um, a high speed collision? Yeah. Um, so obviously, um, it is a, there is a lot more advanced technology going into it because yeah. if you think about it, it's got to go for a lot more of an impact. Yeah. And it's got to pass. And it's only rear-facing seats that do it. There's too much strain on the neck and the head in a forward-facing seat, so it has to be a rear-facing seat that does it. Yeah. So then, all you need to do once you've done that, we've done got to three. So next is four. So you're just moving this back, twisting this dial, and this is just really. Increasing the pressure and then we'll click when it's done enough. It's very user friendly, this car. It seat. is, yeah. Next thing is your leg. So, number five, pull your leg out so you've got green on top. And then finally, number six is your ASP, ASIP, so it's your Axe Kid side impact protection um, that you put whichever the car door is. And you do get these little clips that will cover the gap at where it goes. So, if whichever side you're not using, you just leave your clip on. So, that's it. Yeah, so it's easy. Um, um, Heather said that you make the car fitting car seats look really easy. Oh, well, thank you. It didn't, wasn't so easy no. with the seat moving, but hopefully you wouldn't be moving your car around when you're fitting the car. It's a little bit more difficult on a rig. Um, so yeah, you, it's got the best leg room because it's adjustable. So all you do, you've just got a little button here that you slide and it's on a sliding rail. It's the yeah. only car seat that's on a sliding rail, so you can move it right out. Now there are little guides down here. This is for your recline and for your um, leg rest, leg adjustability. So you've got 0 to 60 centimetres, 60 to 100 centimetres, and 100 to 125 centimetres. And that's the advice of where they would put it. Obviously, you can use it in any of those, but hmm. that's where they advise. And then also leg room there as well. So if you moved it, this is where the leg room, they're saying, should be 100 to 125 centimetres. But it does go all the way back here. And it, it is tested to use it all that way as well. Yeah. Lorraine so just then, asked, sorry, if I, could send, if I send a message with pictures of the new car seat, um, if I send a picture of the car seat on my new car, can you please check it? It doesn't look right. Yeah, of course. Just yeah. send us some pictures. Um, also, we can do a video consultation as well. But if you send some pictures, we can organise that and have a look. Just send it to our Facebook page. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, next, uh, the, you can just the recline. So, if you come here, Jose... I will just show them the recline. So it's just this dial here. So I had it in the fully recline position, but that there now, if I adjust it, oh, I've done it too much now. If I adjust it and bring that out a little bit, you can see then fully upright. You just wind that. So it's not one, two, three recline positions. It's quite an infinite just you can adjust it adjust ever so slightly which yeah, is really perfect, great for the it? child and then you have a new board insert in here amber says now that's useful i thought i'd never seen adjustable leg length seat before this is amazing yeah, yeah. it is so 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 clever so then you've got a new board in, uh, not a new board insert it goes this goes from to having the seat up to three years old so once they've reached three years old you can then remove this insert just get my harness out Oh, Victoria Dance, watching with my little one, one week old boy in my arms. Good live ah. today. Oh, congratulations. Lovely. Let us know, what did you call, have you, has he got a name yet? Did you have a name ready? So that's your insert. So it's like this 
um, solid insert, yeah. which just really makes it a lot more protection. I like it, it's got zips all over it so you can wash it. Yeah, cover. you take your cover off. All these covers come off and can be washed at 30. So then you've got your adjustability just here. You squeeze here to move your headrest up and down and then it's now safe for a seven-year-old. Patty says, oh, it looks very complicated harness. for me as I'm expecting first, um, first baby. I think it can look quite a lot when you initially look at it, but when you break it down, it's very much the same as any other car seat in a sense yeah, of like step-wise when it comes to fitting. It's just obviously um, things are a lot more visible on it. Things are a lot more kind of easy to move. Yeah, because like, everything's labelled, you know, yeah. just work your way through the stages. All you're going to be doing, all you're going to be changing once baby, you've got it set up in the car, is your recline position, your leg adjustability, but it's not going to change on a daily no. basis, unless you usually have it in fully extended position, but then somebody gets in your car uh, in the passenger uh, seat in front, or the driver needs yeah. a bit more room. You can bring it in. Just slide it in. Yeah, that's what somebody said, um, that their partner sits too far back, so you can always yeah. have it, obviously, uh, in, and then obviously if your partner's in it's the car... It's not going to hurt the child having less leg room, because most no. rear-facing car seats are like that anyway, it's just given that option. It's a massive thing that a lot of people say they don't want to rear-face for because of the, the yeah. leg room. So the fact that this gives that leg room is a great reason for people yeah. to keep them uh, rear-facing for longer as well. Victoria Dancer's little boy is called Theodore. Oh, lovely. lovely. That is a lovely name. Lovely little name. Um, Kira said that's great if kids have long legs. Yep, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Giving you that option. So, because um, it gives you all that great leg room, um, you can use it obviously up to the seven years and they can climb. Because you can move it, you can move it forwards like this, let them climb in. Yeah, that's what somebody said as well. Room. When they're on a um, kind of, um, what's it called? Mine's gone. When it kind of slides back and forth, it makes yeah, it easier to get children out. Yeah, yeah, because either for you to put them in or for or them, them to climb in themselves. Yeah. I tested this with Tristan, and he loved the fact that it could easily get in and out. I just reclined, uh, pulled it right out. Yeah, he hopped him, in, and then I put him to the right, yeah. um, the right thing. The recline that it offers is forty-two degrees difference, so quite a big um, difference in your recline. Yeah. you've got an eye rest indicator. Um, so one of the biggest uh, mistakes that we see with um, child car seat use is that the headrest or the harness isn't at the correct height. But with this, just make sure that this is at the eye level and then you know it's right. So just at a quick glance, yeah. you can see that it's not quite at the right, um, right level. 12 position headrest, um, your five point harness obviously, um, and all your covers are yeah. machine washable. I think they've, they've basically, what they've done is they've eliminated as much human error as possible, yeah. haven't they? Yeah. As ev so, like I say, they've numbered everything that you need to do. Yeah. You've even guided where your harness should be, which is something that a lot of people aren't quite aware of where their harness should be. Yeah. Um, and also made it a very safe and comfortable seat for your yeah. little one. So They've made it with less plastic, so you can kind of see this yeah. um, foam, kind of like in the Venici car seat that we were talking about earlier. Yeah. Um, and it, this is what they have inside um, yeah. motorbike uh, Helmets. Yeah. So really, really um, safe. So because of that, it only weighs 10 kilos. So something like this on another car seat, maybe 15 kilos. So mm. lots, lots lighter than um, yeah. a lot of options. So that's the reason that it can then take 23 kilos because it's 33 kilos in total weight for the ice fix points. So 10 kilos for the car seat leaves you 23 kilos for the child. So the lighter the seat, the yeah. more usability you've got for the child. And obviously this also is eye size tested as well. So it goes on height, so it's 125 centimetres for a taller child. Yeah, so a really nice one to look at. Amber says, um, I have possibly forgotten, but do you guys do payment plans? Yes, we do. So you can go onto the website if you want to, there's a certain product, and um, we do um, Layby, Clearpay, and Klarna. Yes. And they all offer different options that you can choose on, so whichever one would suit you best. Yep. And um, they are all different options on the website. Um, obviously, if you do want any more, have any more questions or anything like that, you're more than welcome to send a Facebook message or obviously call the store. But um, all the information will be on the website there for you. Um, Claire said, so you, can you carry that one? No, so it's... It's not... It, you would be able to carry it because you've got your handles here. Yeah, so it's, but so it's, it's not, not lighter than 10 carry, kilos, yeah. but it's not an infant carry, so you'd leave it in the car. But it does make it a lighter one to transition if you've got to move yeah. it regularly to other cars because it is so lightweight. Yeah. Like I said, a, a similar alternative, maybe a spin seat, they're often upwards of 15 kilos. Yeah. So when you look at something like this, which is 5 kilos, this is 10 kilos, it's still heavier than infant carry, but still a lot lighter than other car yeah. seats. Definitely. Uh, Lucy says these lives are so helpful. Thank you. So Thank hopefully you. you are getting a lot of, it's just some things, products that you may 
may not realise by looking yeah. on the website what they actually do. Yeah. Um, so hopefully what makes them different help. or what makes them a certain price yeah. or yeah, why what is makes this one? that a good... Hopefully you can see from this live why this one is the price it is yeah. because there's no quality offers, on market no. like it. Um, it is very, very clever. Um, Emma says, this looks amazing. We were looking at the Axkid move due to not one owning a car and I want to make sure it fits in as many cars as possible yeah. for our eight month old. Yeah, yeah. so you've got, because your move, Axkid move is a belt fitted seat. Obviously that makes it a bit more universal if a yeah. car doesn't have it. If it's a van that's going in maybe, you've got a bit more um, usability because it fits in more cars than if yeah. it doesn't have ice fix, obviously this wouldn't then be able to fit in there. Yeah, Claire says, yes, that's an issue. You have to carry the child out the hospital in a car seat. Yeah, so if you, this is um, from three, four months old, 61 centimetres. Mm. Um, if you had the plus one, you'd just take your carry cot up to the, up to the um, mm. hospital, put them in the carry cot, take them yeah. in, put them in the car. Yeah. Um, it's not really. No, no. So much. a lot of people tend to go, there's a lot of car seats on the market now that are um, kind of stay, they stick and stay in the car. I mean, you can move them from yeah. car to car, but you don't carry them like an infant carrier. Yeah. Um, but it just longevity wise, they last a lot longer than infant carrier. Yeah. Um, and you can still use them from birth. Yeah. Definitely, so it just be a case of just that initial time when you're taking baby um, out of the hospital, um, either yeah, like say carry cot um, or holding a little one. But yeah. um, Jolina says, is it just Isofix or is it belt fitted as long this, side this Isofix? No. I missed the installation. Um, just just Isofix yeah. this one, so Isofix and support leg, six um, step fitting. Yeah, and it's all labelled and clear on the car yeah. seat and quick to good. do. Yeah, should be able to fit it in 30 seconds once you know what you're doing. Um, you've got your green indicators, let you know it's all done correctly. Um, yeah. And then everything that's light grey does something. So you've got your light grey adjustability. You know that's yeah. going to do something. You've got all your instructions on the side as well. So it talks you through the one to six steps. Um, yeah, read your instructions, watch a quick YouTube video before you do it. And it's, it's really, it yeah. really is easy to do. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's, it's because of how it's fit, you know, and that it's past the um, Swedish plus testing and the eye size. Yeah, um, just, she's, some people have just messaged Claire, well, well, just replying to Claire saying you don't have to have a car seat to bring baby out, as in like no. you don't have to have your infant carrier in the hospital with you. Yeah. Um, a lot of times mid midwives will come down with you or just want to see a photo of the car take seat. Take a photo of it in there or uh, take your instruction yeah. booklet to let them know you've got a front birth seat. Yeah, always just say, just, we can always check with your hospital beforehand, just see what, what they are, what their policies the policy are. But um, we've not known one person to say that they needed an infant carrier yeah. to take baby home. Yeah, in. we did check with our, our local hospital, it was Pilgrim Hospital in Boston. Yeah. And we spoke to a midwife there who said um, it's it's not going to cause an issue if you haven't got an infant carrier. No, definitely Just not. Just a car seat. Um, somebody's asked, do all carry cots come with Isofix? So carry cots are what's for the push chair. Um, it's what's called an infant carrier. So infant car carrier, something seat, like yeah, this. Yeah. Just yeah, infant carriers here. Um, but we were just saying, obviously, with a carry cot, obviously, off your push chair, you could take that in if you didn't have an infant carrier. Yeah. Um, all infant carriers, um, they won't necessarily auto... They're not... Not they all have, of them. They don't all have Isofix, do they? No, um, some, some don't have a, a, a base, maybe a, a lower range yeah. car seat, may not have um, an Isofix base, it's just a belt-fitted car seat. Most of them will be belt-fitted or Isofix, um, one or the other. And also you can get a few that are just the Isofix base. So like the Maxi Cozy Marble, which is a low flat yeah. car seat that in and out of the car, that just goes on its base. Because of the recline feature, you can't belt it in. Yeah. Oh, Jess says, our hospital won't let us take baby out without an infant carrier that she's in Gloucester. Gloucester. Oh, really? Hospital. I don't see how they can stop you from doing that. If you've got pushing baby out in a safe thing, yeah. like your... Um, Push chair. Push chair, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, you push Rather, you're not, not expecting just to carry yeah. baby out, which you can understand. Yeah. There would be some dangers with, but, um, yeah. So In a push chair, push when chair. it's perfectly what, safe. What if you don't have a car? What if you're going to walk home? Yeah. No, you've got to buy one. I don't know. No. Always check with your hospital first. Always check it with it. Um, my next one definitely would be... be be eye safe and eye safe. So, old car seat wise, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we would say if budget allows, always go for an eye safe seat. Yeah. Um, just had the high test in. Yeah. Kira says, useful information to know. Yeah, always check with the hospitals beforehand. Um, and obviously. Um, slide this one this way. Oh, you're on your mama's and papa's. There, well, there we go. Oh, no. Knocking everybody over. I'm just making a little bit of room. So, so we again, can cover our next next seat yes um we have um three mamas and papas well we've got a frame and two toys to choose from um, and all you need to do is comment at the end of this live we will be um 
drawing the winner um, and you get to choose which one. So whichever one works for you best, um, obviously you can get to choose, um, which is really, really nice. So just comment and say, there has been a lot of people commenting already this morning, which is really, really nice. So something else a little bit different. Um, I know we've featured in it alive not so long since, um, but because this is quite a good one for this one to be featured in, we've got the Cybex Palace G. Yeah, really, really nice one, isn't it? Look so at. this, yeah, this is a two-in-one seat, um, eye size tested. So it's on the R129 regulation, and rather than a vehicle, uh, sorry, the integral harness of a car seat, this one uses the impact shield to secure the child. Yeah, easy to install. You've got your independent, oh, it's because I've got this in here still. Take your top tether point off first because that's blocking it. Yeah, Jess said that she, uh, they wouldn't allow them to take little ones home without an infant carrier. Their hus her husband had to carry each, a twin in each hand. Oh, God. Nightmare. Right, Definitely. so yeah. Individual Isofix arms, so pop one out and then the other. Connect to your Isofix points and push it so it's touching the vehicle seat back. And then finally, your top tether. Just attach it. But like you see tether. here, you've got your guides, which is really good. Like your green indicator, sorry. So green indicator is either side, um, you're good to go. Obviously, if that was red, it's not connected into your Isofix point. Um, so always make sure you're green, either side. So this is a forward facing seat because it's eye size you can't forward face until um, a minimum of 15 months so you can't use it before on this one it's not like some of the older ones that you can forward face at nine kilos it's just although we would always say like we're looking at the axe kid rear face for as long as possible because it's five times safer for the child mm -hmm. this gives those parents that want to forward face sooner an option yeah so rather than forward facing and having all the neck injuries and head injuries in a collision, this reduces the forces um, on those neck and he head areas by 40% because yeah. it's used as the impact shield instead of the harness. harness. Mm. So really easy to use. I like the now, fact you've got that in included. Yeah, they've now changed um, the impact shield to a buckle on each side. Yeah. So you can just leave one plugged in. Rather than using your adult seatbelt, obviously. Yeah, because the, the last version used the vehicle seatbelt over this. So you can just pop that to the side while they climb in. Pop it over the top of them. Fasten it in and then tighten. Debbie's just said, I'm not too sure about the shield. Wouldn't baby get too hot? No, it's, it's like a... This, um, this is kind of like a foam wedge. So yeah. it's, it's got air um, ventilation pockets throughout pockets so, yeah, it. It and also through the back of the seat as well so it's breathable yeah so you have got breathable panels around the side and back as well so it's i know this looks like it's really close as well but obviously this is adjustable yeah so if it was a bigger child you would uh, they would have more room it wouldn't yeah. be pushed quite in as much as that you just pop it on and then tighten to where you need it yeah so this impact shield actually goes a little bit higher than your standard 18 kilo harness and this can be used up to 21 kilos as well so if yeah. you've got a chunkier baby this might be um, an option because it does last longer. So you can use this from 76, which is about 15 months old, to 150 centimetres. So it lasts longer than your standard 135 centimetres of the law. And it's a maximum of 50, ki 50 kilos as well. Yeah. So that's higher. Yeah. So for a high back booster, usually R44 seats go up to 36 kilo, where the still goes up to 50 kilos. So you don't have to worry, oh, I'm already at 36 kilos at like eight. Yeah. They can stay in there. Yeah, they don't want to stand up those, do they? No, they, they don't, don't want to stand, stand up for us, no. Um, other things on this car seat, so you've got to use the Artifix and Top Tether. Um, comes in lots of different colours. We've got um, the deep black here, yeah. but you can get in granite black, which is a lighter black, lighter black, if that's possible. <laughs> uh, a navy blue, magnolia pink, soho grey, autumn gold, river blue, and also a classic beige. Which is very in. Yes. Very in, the classic the beiges. Beige colours. Um, it says this looks so good. Yeah, it's really, really clever. Yeah, 59 um, centimetres wide um, and what was I going to say? Yeah, 10 years of usability because you can use it with the impact shield and then as a high back booster. So once the baby's out, uh, the child's outgrown. Yeah, Charlotte said these the are good, but I think I would have had to use one from the start um, as my four year old wouldn't be happy with this. Um, yeah, so it does depend on child. <coughs> so we just say, how, would child Sorry. be comfortable with the shield? Now it's. Uh, there's, it's like everything. There's no every child loves a car seat. No, you can't guarantee a child will always be no. comfortable. And, and not, not as in 
as in they wouldn't want to be in the car seat, if that makes sense. Nice. Um, it's just something very different, isn't it? Yeah, having not this used over to them. having. So if you can get it used to it, obviously the youngest that it's safest for them to be able to use it, obviously, and go from there, really. Uh, but every child's very different. As you know, I um, review a lot of the car seats. I tested this um, with my three-year-old, but then I did use the past version with my four-year-old, and they both found it a bit of a novelty, very different, they enjoyed using it, leaning on it, yeah. um, having little toys on it, like as a little table almost. Yeah. But yeah, it depends on the child. Some child might feel too confined and not like that feeling. Yeah. Um, you have got your headrest under here, which is a um, very, very clever. Yeah. So it's a reclining headrest. So oh, these they're right in the way, in the way. Though, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Took them there. So if you lift and just move back, this reclines in such a way that the head is going to keep be kept in this secure area that's going to offer them the protection. Um, when they nap, so the head is tilting back. In a collision, it will automatically just pop up into the more at right, safer position. But yeah. you do have <coughs> three positions yeah. to move it into. It also has a slight recline as well at the front, so you can reach under uh, when you've got your shield or in high back booster mode, and you've got a bit of recline to just. It's yeah. not a massively noticeable one, but just enough that they're just tilting. I think back when the child's in there, them. they will see a difference. You'll see it more, yeah. Lindsay said it's really great that it's got a reclining headrest. Yeah, yeah. it's that slight difference that can make a big, such a big difference on child yeah. when they're sat in that car seat. The head just literally just drops, drops back yeah. slightly. Yeah. Uh, Q could be used as a little ledge to hold their tablet to play games or read books. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, Amber says, are the co covers washable? Yes, they're all yes. machine washable um, on a gentle wash. Yeah. You might notice that your guides on this are now green. Is it yeah. in a newer eye-size seat? Um, so you've not got your blue or red indicators from before. But yeah, you could then use it with a vehicle seat belt. Jess says it looks great for shield. a little Houdini. Yes, that, <laughs> sorry, that's one point that we should have said. This, the impact shield really comes into their own when you do have children that escape their harnesses because yeah. it makes it very, very hard, if not impossible, to escape. Um, because this is here, they, it's quite a big force for them to lean over and press here, so they wouldn't actually be able to reach no. rather than here. On so it is harness. something that we would recommend, for example, if somebody had an appointment, for example, or someone came in and said, my child is just getting out of a harness. I've tried everything. I've tried everything, because even if, if you've got them tight in the right position, some just still get like out. Like you say, Houdini, we'll get out, we'll get yeah. out of it. Um, obviously, there are such things as your anti-escape harnesses, but um, a shield is something that we would always recommend for that, because like Kelly said, it's almost imp impossible for them to do it, isn't yeah. it? Um, the th other thing about the shield that makes um, it good is that it's spread out in quite a big force. It's not a small area on the no. abdomen. It'll kind so of it's spread. spread out like um, your, what's it called, your airbags that pop out. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like that. If you imagine um, an airbag, big force over the tummy. So they j naturally roll forwards in a collision and mm. roll back. The whole back yeah. rolls over rather than just all the forces. Yeah, um, on the neck and the head. Lindsay said, I had the old one and the bumper bar had to be strapped in. The Palace B. Yeah, um, yeah so yeah, had your use. shield had to be um, seat belted in. So it's so clever now that they have their own belt system. Yeah, yeah. Big definitely a big upgrade, isn't it? isn't it? Big, big upgrade. Absolutely. Um, I'm sure my little one would be up for a challenge of escaping it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes um, just love a challenge, don't they? Yes, I do. You have got your side impact because it's an R129. I size C, it's had side impact no. testing. So you have got these on here, which brings it closer to the door and passes the energy yeah. around the seat as opposed to directly into the child. Jess has asked, is there a shield seat for rear-facing? No. No, there isn't, is there? Because, because it's about that forward-facing movement. Yeah. The, a rear-facing um, car seat pushes the child into, into the seat. seat. Whereas um, if you think forward-facing, forward. they go forwards yeah. and backwards. Whereas obviously that shield is that when they would roll over the shield rather yeah. than having the impact across their chest, yeah. for example. I suppose it, for people who have got a rear-facing child that they're wanting to keep rear-facing and they escape their harness, yeah. things if that's the situation you're in, uh, maybe have a look at the five-point plus anti-escape harness yeah. that goes around um, the harness. Might help. Oh, it's always scary when this happens. Kira says, yes, my three-year-old unclicked her car seat the other day. Luckily, has, hasn't done it since she, she got told off. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but, yeah. I had that when I was nanny. And it, it depends on the age, doesn't it, of how you yeah. can explain to them that is really dangerous, you can't do that. Yeah, because if it's, they're almost too young, they'll think it's fun. Yeah. And if they're kind of, hopefully they kind of understand it's serious, you can't unbook yourself. No. I had to have that conversation. Luckily, again, she never did. No, but, you, um, you, were, you were scary enough to scare her. And luckily, we were parked up. That. And like she, yeah. it was, it, but you just never know, do you? You could no, be at no. a traffic light and they could unbuckle yeah. themselves. So Tristan will say, to, so he was three in November, so before this year, um, he will always say to me, 
he's an axe kid mini kid and he does say to me have we stopped now mummy can i undo it because he can unbuckle Buckle. his harness but he's never done it when we haven't been stopped at no, home or parked he's it understood he that it's safe, he's he to, yeah. yeah yeah definitely get get it no you don't no know. that is not acceptable <laughs> yeah so to give them eyes no <laughs> um no, it's not. Some children are just going to do it whatever, aren't they? And they yeah. think it's a bit of a thing or they just want to get out of the car seat. So they yeah. will just do it. So it's just another option um, if you don't mind forward facing and want the option of a shield to stop them escaping. Yeah, definitely. Right. Um, oh, I'm just trying to find the comment there. I see people replying, but I want to get to the original comment. It's also about the, it was Claire. I like the idea of this as my straps always get twisted on my son's car seat. On the harness. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's so annoying, but it's normally after the husband has strapped him in. <laughs> <laughs> wrong technique there, wrong technique. <laughs> My two-year-old oh. started unbooking his harness, the stress. Yeah, they do yeah. think, I think every child will try it. Yeah. Fingers crossed, they try it once, get scared, don't do it again. Yeah. Fingers crossed is the... Try going somewhere that they've really looked, been looking forward to going. So obviously now we can go out and meet people yeah. a little bit more, go to different places um, after next week a little mm -hmm. bit more. Maybe say to them as we're going, if they do it, Oh my God, the car stopped. What have you done? Yeah. You, must, it must, it, you must have broken the car. Yeah, you, you take, always, undone your harness. You always have to say a bit of a white lie with children, don't you? Oh, yeah. Definitely. <clears throat> so you can say, yeah, the car, that's it, the car doesn't work now that you've took your seatbelt off. Yeah. My, when, I, when I was younger, there was a lot of us, obviously. My dad had a car that he could see who obviously had unbuckled it would themselves. say where it was, yeah. And we were terrible. We would say, oh, you yeah, know, but we were older at this point. We was like about say, seven, ten, sort of, you know, that sort of. Me and my sister we used to like sit set each other off, and I'm like now thinking it's so dangerous. Naughty children. I know. We used to blame each other. We're like, no, I can see who it was because I can see who's in what who's seen. Oh yeah. So Can't never ever. Daddy. Any children watching? Never ever unbook yourself. It's not safe. Um, I should have said you Cybex Palace G. If anybody's interested, is two hundred and fifty-four pounds and ninety-five p, and that will take you from fifteen months up to twelve years old. Yeah. Do you want me um, to yeah. No, this one. We had a son. Oh, we had my son do it on the motorway. Luckily, we were oh, in God. stood still traffic not fun climbing through the car seat to refasten himself back no. in until we started moving again yeah it's it, it, say it's just one i think it's just one of those things that children will just think oh well mommy does it why can't i do it yeah they won't see it as a dangerous thing and until they obviously they are aware yeah it's like the worst place that they he could have done it isn't it yeah <laughs> definitely when you're going luckily it's like you say luckily he was stopped yeah which is good um so here i've got um, it's the Britax, remember the name Britax? Britax Roma Kid Fix 3S. So it is confusing, there are quite a lot of different kid fixes. There is um, a, on the Britax website itself, yeah. there is quite a nice um, table, isn't there? So yeah, showing so you the differences difference. between the different kid and fixes. And also as well, so. if you, for example, wanted an infant carrier from them, or um, maybe you could put in your categories what you want. So how old's child? Yeah. Um, are you wanting rear facing? Da, 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 seat belting, ice fix? They will kind of specify which ones will fit you. And as they well. have a really good chat as well. So if you ever, yeah. if we, if you don't want to talk to us, maybe we always come to us first. But um, if you wanted to talk to Britax as well, they have a really yeah. good um, online chat, and there's yeah. usually somebody there to just talk you through. And I could be honest, I've got. used it. I've, I've used, used it. it. Yeah. Um, and the reply within minutes. Yeah. So. I do it when I'm, I'm bored. <laughs> just got nobody to chat to. You feel a bit lonely. You just talk, I'm talk to Britax. To Britax. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's a really, really nice one to think. It's like, say, high back booster, um, but it's got some nice safety features on here. Yeah. To kind of it's make not it, a basic high back booster. No, is it? it's got some nice features that maybe something you may not have seen on other yeah. high back boosters that you think, oh, that'd be quite nice. And just going to fit this in. So what I've done is I've got a grey button just underneath here. Um, and that you pull out then your Isofix bars and these will then connect into your car. Oh, Emma said it was when we had him in the backpack as well. So the oh, back wow. row of a seven-seater car and he just stood up. Bet that was she had fun, to double check the other kids that? too. No, climbing completely through. It's one of them kind of like, one, two, three, four. Yep, green, yep. green, 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 green. <laughs> yep, we're all good to go. So um, George has just connected it to the Isofix. Yep. Because it's a high back booster, you don't have to connect it to your Isofix. You can Isofix it or just belt it in. Yeah, so say, for example, you haven't got Isofix or say you, you, you have, but grandparents, if you swap it over quite a lot, it might be a nice one to look at. Yeah. Um, you have got then your green indicators either side. Um, and really nice feature with your Isofix points, they kind of will pivot into position for you. So it's not kind of necessarily sitting at a, a funny angle, putting too much pressure on those bars. It will kind of pivot into the right position, which makes it easy to fit as well. For example, if your Isofix points are quite far down, 
oh, it does make it easy. George, you must have been doing some work as well. I've just bought this Britax, Charlotte says, I've just bought this Britax seat from you for my four-year-old, and it was Georgia who helped me out on the phone. She loves it, and a four-year-old seems very secure and Oh, good. I'm pleased you, um, you got one. Lovely. We'd love to see pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, then what you want to do is obviously, because now I've got this gap between the back of the seat and the seat itself, you want to push your button in again and then push it all the way flush with the back of the seat. Which with a high nice. back booster, because they sit higher than your other seats or than a rear facing seat, obviously, which isn't against it, yeah. um, you are advised to either move your headrest of your vehicle into the highest position so that it doesn't obstruct where it needs to sit or remove it completely if it, that doesn't yeah. help. Yeah, this one obviously is very much out of the way, but yeah, um, there are removed. some that obviously that will come sit here. And obviously, if that's bringing then your car seat forward, it's not the right position no. um, and not safe. You have um, got on here, so a few, the di few differences to make it um, a bit different. You have your XP pad. Now, if I just untwist that, you, what happens here, so if you think that this is where your seatbelt will be, and then your seatbelt will kind of flow through here. Just took it all in. Took it all in. Um, rather than having that direct strap on little one's chest, this will kind of, um, what's the word? Ex I was going to say expert, but that's not the word. <laughs> expert. So it's a shock absorbing foam yeah. pad. So, so what it, it kind of, rather than the force being in one direct area, it will kind of spread along yeah. this whole pad. So it's a nice um, kind of, I can't get the word in. What is the word I'm after? Spread? Spread the force? Yeah, I suppose that's not the uh, one I'm looking for, yeah. but that will work. Spread the force kind of over here rather than that one area. Um, so it's, it, it's very clever. And, and it, it stops the chin. So say in a forward collision, like we are saying about the head going, um, the chin would then bounce on that as opposed to on their chest and yeah. it deflects um, the forces on their chest by 30%. So it takes up 30% of yeah. the energy as well. And they do a lot of kind of options for their car seats, for example, that do have the XP pad included. It's not just this one. No. Um, there are a few that you can Advanced get. Advanced Affix, have they it. have it on, don't they? Yeah. For, for a high back booster. Then you also get here, you guide where your seatbelt will be as well. So it just allows your seatbelt to kind of sit in the right position, sitting in that hip position rather on their stomach, for yeah. example. It's adding, a, it's adding a fourth position yeah. to secure the seatbelt. Yeah, so it's going to go sit it in that correct position where it needs to be, um, which is really clever. So the seatbelt will just kind of, the lap position will kind of just slide through here and then obviously buckle in. Again, it's, it's percentages, but it, that one reduces the force by 35% taking the load off the abdominal yes. area. Yes, really, really clever. Um, it is an R44 high back booster. But Britax, again, they're another brand that will go above and beyond when yeah, it comes to testing. kind of have their own testing. facilities, don't they? Yeah. So this has here distribute your um, thank you, Emma. Yes. Distribute. That's distribute. The one I was looking for. <laughs> I need you in my back pocket all the time. Emma. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, so this here, I'm going to make sure it's the right way around. There you go. This is your side impact cushion technology. That's what this stands for. Um, so your XP side impact cushion technology. Um, and what you want to do is, whichever one's the door side, wind that out. Um, Jolie has asked how much this one is. This is £190, Jolie. Yeah. Nice one. To, it comes in a variety of different colours as well. Um, so it's a really nice one to look at. And obviously this will then, um, is the protection built in under the car seat. Yeah. You can um, adjust your headrest, just the button at the back. So it comes up nice and high um, on there. So it's really, really easy to fit. This one can be used from 15 to 36 kilos. Yeah. So you've got your nice long lasting high back booster um, and you've got your seatbelt guide just through here. So again, your seatbelt's not sitting in the wrong position. It's always it's in the right nice place. It's nice it's a clip as well. That rather than a slide. In, rather than just sliding always, out. Yeah. They're always a little bit faffy to do anyway. Yeah. But that's a nice, quick, easy clip um, in and out. Charlotte says that's the reason she got this one. She likes the extra bit, the secure guard between his legs. Yeah. Because like, it can be a bit of a fidget and this keeps the belt in a nice position. Yeah, yeah definitely. And then obviously you've got your guides um, as well for your seatbelt. Kira says what age do they start and end? Um, a high back booster. So the weight is 30, 15 to 36 kilos, but we wouldn't recommend using a high back booster until around four because there's plenty of different reasons that can make it unsafe for a child earlier. They can obviously reach it and just unbuckle themselves. If they can't be trusted, they might sit forwards out of the protection area of the seat if they can't be trusted yeah. at a younger age. And also there's the risk of submarining, not with this car seat obviously because you've got the secure guard. So. Um, it will stop them sliding out from underneath the seatbelt as well. Yeah. It's really difficult because obviously there's no child in there. <laughs> <laughs> Just but, imagine. You but have to, imagine. to give you a bit of an idea. Ta-da! 
just imagine there's a little child in there. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got your XP pad that will kind of sit in the right position for you, and then this obviously would sit, um, obviously depending on where child is in there. Yep. And really easy to obviously remove again. What are the other colours, please? Lots of different colours. There's grey, black. Which is this one, isn't it? And then there's you've a got pink one. I can't yeah. What they call their pink? No, I was about rose? to say magnolia pink. That's is it rose. Bits. Something rose, I think. Yeah, I think it might be wine. Wine rose. They are all on our website. All the colour options. If you wanted to have a yeah. look, but lots, lots of different colours. Blues. Charlotte's got all black. Very nice. Very nice. Black is probably the most popular colour, isn't it, for car seats? Yeah, Unless the child earlier, chooses. Black, darker car seats, they seem to last longer. Yeah. Love the bar between the legs, says Emma. Yeah, that's the secure guard. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's just a few extra features that these car seat brands have added to their car seats to make them more user-friendly. And obviously, the whole point of them is to make them safer as well. Yeah, nice safe seats. Yeah. Um, and, and obviously, there are a few different ages. Very user-friendly. I'd say they, they fit really nicely and they work really well as well. Yep. So an infant carrier, different option, um, extended rear facing car seat, multi-stage with your impact shield and then a high back booster. So just covering a few different ages there for you. Obviously there's lots more choices and we could have brought loads more out today but then it would be a longer, longer life. Longer, longer life. Just a quick one obviously just to show you some of the differences. <coughs> Obviously, if you um, have got any other questions about any of these products, fingers crossed we have answered them all. Um, but obviously, just let us know. Um, and I say, we'll draw our winner very shortly. Um, and they can win a Mamas and Papas either spiral toy, you've got your frame or your rainbow. So you get, the winner gets to choose which one they would like. Um, and then obviously, this will be popped on the van today and be with you tomorrow. Daniela said, um, looks good car seat. We're currently looking for a high booster, yeah. So it is one we'd um, recommend having yeah. a look at. Brita's a really good brand again. Um, made in Germany. Yes. It's a nice. Um, again, German they're kind of engineering. ones that a lot of their they've got car seats that will go through the yep. Swedish plus testing as well. Yeah, they do infant um, car seats, infant carriers. They've got their new ones coming out soon too as well. Yeah. Um, they do swivel seats. Mm -hmm. They do um, extended rear facing seats, and then they do high back boosters. Yeah. And multi stage as well, like your advanced fix. Yeah. Lots of different options to choose from. Um, oh. <coughs> and um, there'll be more coming soon, won't they? Yeah. Eva says, I do love the futuristic look of that infant carrier. Um, Angela said, great live as always. Thank you. Thank you. So, yes, we draw. Yes, let's draw our winner. So, Kelly will we'll scroll for the comments. <coughs> I'll say stop and whoever Kelly will stop on, that's our lucky winner today. And they'll get to choose which one they would like. A little gift to cheer you up on when we're back to work after a nice long nice. break. Nice. It's always hard when you first get back, I think. Oh, there's a lot of rainbows going on, I think. Yeah, I think people are loving the rainbow. Yeah. I don't blame it. Rainbows, especially after lockdown, it's got a little soft place in my heart, I think, after seeing not kidding, when everyone I drew a little picture yeah. of the rainbow. Rainbows and just in the windows. Everywhere. Yeah, you still see some about now, don't yeah. you? Yeah. I just think it's really You're saying good luck. Are you scrolling? Rainbow again. Yep, I'm going. You going? So, Kelly's scrolling. She's waiting for me to say the magic for their word. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> And the winner is Sophie Sprague. Don't know if that's how well we pronounce Sophie. it, but Sophie. If you just send our Facebook um, a message, um, just with your details, and let us know which one would you choose. Are you going to go for frame, rainbow, or spiral toy? Congratulations. Congratulations. And thank you, um, everyone, as always, for joining our lives. Um, these lives will be continuing. Um, if you have got anything, obviously, that you would like to see in particular, just send us a message and we let like us know. We like live um, inspiration. Yeah, because uh, these lives are for, for you, um, obviously, and whatever um, products you would like to look at, we, we will go through them. We have got some new things coming out into store, so we'll definitely be showing them soon. Yeah. Um, and there'll be a new video of the store. Very exciting. Isn't carpet. It? Carpet. We have carpet. And things have moved and things have come out. It's all been fun. All been fun. Um, but obviously, we will be opening from the 12th of April, which is really good. Obviously, we've got the hair head. Less than a week now. Less than a week. Um, obviously, we are only as an appointment only. So if you do want to come into store, you just need to book that appointment on the website. Um, and it's a 90 minute appointment, but don't feel like you need to. I know some people have said, but I only need to look at a car seat. I only need the next stage car fine. seat. It's fine. You can still take that 90 minute appointment. Yep. Um, it's absolutely fine. It just allows us to kind of keep the store 
Um, maintained, obviously, keep it nice and clean. And obviously, there's not many people, Do although we could have a lot more people. Yeah, it's um, a big store, so we've got plenty of room, haven't we? But it's just yeah. limiting how many people we've got. Up to four people time. per appointment as well. Um, so if you are wondering if you want, if you can bring, um, obviously, friends. Kira's asked, how much are the rainbows? The rainbow is. They love the rainbow. I think it's on offer at the minute, but um, £16 for the rainbow. Your spiral toy is 19 and your frame is 12 if you're interested. Thank you for watching, um, everybody. Uh, yeah. We will be back again tomorrow. We will. Another exciting live. Thank you for joining us and have a lovely Tuesday. Bye-bye.